Hey everyone, welcome to Tech DIY. Today's playground session we are doing going to do on Spring Boot 2 caching. Caching is a mechanism where we store the resources in a temporary memory. When the first request comes for them, we will fetch them from the source, uh, from the origin, and we will store them in the temporary memory. And further calls for any further calls for the same resources, we will load them from the temporary memory and serve the purpose. So now here resources could refer to data, could refer to files, etc. So here we have the our very own start.spring.io and we the whole project setup is here. So we are going to download this project and uh, importing into the IntelliJ. Dependencies are just uh, Lombok and for simplicity and uh, readability and the other one is uh, rest uh, for rest templates uh, for rest controller uh, spring web that's it and for today's session we are going to refer how to do in java tutorial uh, caching uh, spring boot caching uh, topic so yeah let's get started we are ha going to have model package we are going to have controller package and we are going to have service package uh, in the uh, we are uh, having the our very own uh, scenario which we have covered in many other uh, topics also blogging so we are having a blog and uh, this model is this model class is having a simple blog wherein we have the uh, we have the id we have the title and we have the content that's it And we are having the annotations, uh, Lombok annotations for uh, for uh, generating the code, getter setters, uh, all our constructor, no our constructor, two string methods. Uh, so these uh, annotations will generate those particular methods at compile time. So that's what Lombok would be doing for us. For this session, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to write this method, which will uh, which will take uh, which will return a hard coded value. But it will uh, once we call it, it will go for a sleep, and then it will wake up and it will uh, re return the data to us, the hard coded values, uh, block details to us. So this way, uh, in real time systems. Uh, we are simulating like as if uh, it is going to hit some database or some file or uh, file system or something uh, which is external from application and we are getting loading that data uh, into it so most important here is the at uh, cacheable annotation so which represents this method is this method is going to cache the data now we are going to create the controller uh, package and controller class so our controller class is block controller uh, which is annotated with rest at uh, rest controller and uh, we are going to write uh, endpoint for uh, our get method which is uh, get block by id and uh, here we will be annotating it with get mapping and the path is uh, slash blocks uh, and then id so id is going to be a path variable and this uh, will be handing over the ID to our service uh, uh, block service method, uh, which is same with the same name. So here we need to auto wire our block service here. So that's what we are doing here. So once it is auto wired, we can refer its methods here. So uh, we are doing that. And once it's done, uh, we will uh, try to bounce the server and see how it works We need to enable the caching by this uh, enable caching annotation So 
so just have a look on the pom file pom.xml for the dependencies which we are having as we already seen we are just having lombok and web which is spring boot uh, starter web that's it and uh, yeah that's pretty much of it so now the server is started let's try to hit the our uh, endpoint that is uh, slash blog slash uh, id so and see what happens so we are just giving some random number since uh, we will be always returning uh, uh, hard coded value so it doesn't matter for us id also doesn't matter just to show we are having that passing different ids uh, to see on the console so oops while white label error page come uh, so some error came here let's fix this and uh, rerun rebounds the server so let's see which class may have this okay oh shit we forgot we forgot guys we forgot to give the name to the cache and uh, always remember we we need to give the name at least for this cache which is a default property whenever we use the cacheable uh, otherwise we will get this kind of error which we got just now so we are restarting the server after giving the name of the cache as uh, blog and let's see uh server is up now let's try to hit that uh, url again that same url again this time ideally it should return the values uh, some json if everything is fine it should return the json and on console it should show the message which we have added uh, while sleeping and then it should show the id yep see we have uh, got the json response hard coded json in response and the value on console we are getting as this with the sleeping message and the id which we have given here uh we will hit again and again see if, if, uh, how many times we are returning we are hitting that only once uh, that sleep method what was called all other times it is simply uh, fetching from the cache and it is showing that data because the data was cached uh, when the first time when the sleep method was called and all other calls for all other further calls it is simply returning the data from the cache so this is the working of uh, you know working of a cache uh, mechanism so as we can see we are trying to hit different dif uh, by uh, giving different different ids and with every id we are going to uh, in first request of every id we are going to have it now we are going to try the evict cache evict basically eviction english word eviction means removing so removing cache now we are going to try removing cache uh so here in the blog uh, here in the uh, here in the tutorial they have shown the different options which comes with cache at cacheable annotation one is for uh, uh, one is for uh, uh, cache name other is for cache key we can refer uh, the cache by cache key also cache entries by cache key also so that's what uh, here we are showing and then uh, cache evict so what we are going to do is we are going to write another method uh, which is simply its name is simply clear cache this method is simply uh, clearing the cache and it is uh, we are annotating this method with at cache evict so uh, that's pretty much of it and with uh, this cache evict we need to provide the name of the cache also and uh, if we say all all entries uh, equal to true that means uh, all the entries in the cache will be uh, cleared by this will be removed or all the entries will be evicted so that's what it, this this is going to do and similarly at controller side uh, we are going to add another endpoint named clear cache and uh, uh, 
the path would be simply slash uh, clear cache and let's uh, try to rebounce the server and see how it behaves now so the server is started now let's uh, run on uh, spring uh, on chrome we are hitting the url on chrome and uh, yeah again now if we see on the intellij console we should see uh, we should see it since it is a first request after server started server restart so first request will always uh, go to that method and it will you know it will hit the sleep it will go uh, for sleeping for 5 seconds and then it will uh, print the id for me same way uh, whenever we hit again and again with different ids for every id first time it will uh, hit and it will uh, load the load the data on into into the cache and uh, further uh, request will go will fetch the data from cache and present that there and now we uh, we have cleared the cache by our new new endpoint and again we are trying to uh, hit the previous urls with different ids and every time we are hitting we are getting uh, uh, the first request will always be adding the data into the cache and further request will be fetching the data from the cache only instead of going to that origin uh, to the actual origin of the data so in future session we will be covering eh cache or third party caches uh, so this uh, here we are simply using spring's uh, default uh, caching mechanism which is a concurrent hash map uh, thanks for watching guys uh, subscribe to our work and uh, like share give give us your give us your feedback until next time with another exciting session have a nice day have a nice life bye